Greetings and hallucinations, ladies and lads. I am Chancellor of the Harmonious Frequencies of the Mighty Empire of Onion, and this is RimWorld. Oh, so I've uh, switched around the priority of production for the cooking stove. Maybe we can get some pemmican pumped out and get that um, carried off by a caravan to go rescue Wooter. Uh, Hubbard failed when she was trying to take care of ooh, Libby, and it has cost us her life. Yep, if I had known that was going to happen, I would have had Hubbard uh, treat her wounds before she operated. I should have thought about that, so that is definitely my fault in a large part. Hauling gazelle meat? Why would he haul the gazelle meat? I don't know. John, what are you up to? Consuming a meal? Alright, Blackjack, how about you prioritize butchering then? And he's moving slow. I guess he has good reason to, though. He got pretty messed up in the panther attack. Get everybody sped up a little bit. Maybe when Hubbard wakes up she can prioritize a little bit of cleaning. Alright, Koth. Where is your gun? Right here. Get that equipped. Tully is, uh, naked. But he needs to get that taken care of. Alright, Coley is down for some reason. Oh, he's got a major infection? Man, I'm not doing very well keeping track of my guys. This is not ideal. Taicho, you're probably going to be faster than either of these two. So Blackjack is going to get his gun. Hubbard, you need to get your gun. Hilarion, you're already hunting. Now let's start in the main areas here. Uh, so whose gun is this? Libby's? Probably. Jefferson has his gun. Her. Her. I keep forgetting that Jefferson is a lady. Go ahead and equip this shoddy assault rifle. But then, haul this one back if you would. At least under the cover. And haul this one back as well. I have a plan. We most certainly need another cooking stove, that's for sure. It requires 80 steel and two components. Do we have that around? I don't see any components in the stockpile. Is there are a components up here, just one. There should be enough steel there. Um, oh, there was some compacted machinery. There's some right here. Perfect. Hopefully somebody comes down and takes care of that. I know we have some people that are prioritized miners. Coley, Jefferson, and Taicho. Hopefully they will get that done. Where you're headed, Taicho? Nope, you're trying to do some sewing, which is good, but this is more important right now. He's trying to sew trees, which is not ideal. We need the uh, taters and rice to be sewed. Alright, I already know for a fact that Taicho did not 
find this at all. Alright, Titus. That really frustrates me. That really frustrates me. Beyond words. If I if I tell them to do something, they should stand there and they should do it until it's finished. This is not I don't understand why they constantly quit this. Um, but then if I tell them to like craft stone blocks, work at the stone cutter's table, they'll work there until they're exhausted and starving. And then they'll stop. But for some reason for some reason mining is just too much for them. I don't understand. It's pretty much only mining that affects them that way. That's super dumb. Alright. Enough frustration there. Hilarion is working on this. Good. I'm gonna scurry down here and grab these. That's good. So as soon as this is built, we can get two... two crafters crafting. Are you serious, Hilarion? It's got all of its materials here. Get in here and get it finished. Man. Man. I am in such a mood today. Alright. Now we've got two uh, cook stoves so we can get people cooking like crazy. Because they're eating up the pemmican as fast as I can make it. Which is definitely not ideal. Putting a whole snipe out of here. Oh, we need to get all of these dead people hauled, to be honest. Would be ideal. And then go ahead and cremate because people are going to be upset about uh, Libby laying around. Or is it colonist died? Huh. I didn't know they would ever be upset about uh, killing a guilty prisoner. I guess Taicho is just a total wuss or something. Right. Go ahead and haul these bodies out of here. So we don't have to look at them all the time. John, where did you get a simple meal if we're trying to make all of this pemmican? Alright, we clearly need a third cook. Ooh, Hubbard. Because we need at least two people cooking pemmican at a constant basis, or else it's never going to get done. Ugh. Yeah, we can't even keep on top of uh, trying to get it produced here. This is rough. Robert is sleeping, that's fine. Yeah, the temperature in here is still freezing. And we're running out of meat way too quickly. It seems like a lot of the animals that we end up hunting and bringing in. Another infinite chem reactor? They end up getting spoiled before they get butchered. That shouldn't happen now with three cooks and two cook stoves. But we'll see how it goes. Don't we have two people uh, trying to work on animal handling too? I feel like uh, we, 
should have that covered pretty well. I know we haven't had much plant material until recently, so... Maybe that's kept things from happening quite as fast as they could be, but... Man. Oh. For some reason, that door looked like it was open to me. We don't have very much longer, either. Uh, Wooter is gonna get out of here... Five days. Five days we've got, and it probably takes like two days to get here. Yeah. Does. So should I have one person making meals so that maybe they will start eating the meals instead of the pimmigan? That's probably a possibility. Take a look. Okay, that's that's somewhat close. It goes by this place too, so maybe we could stop by see if they have any bionics available. We can use some eyes and legs. I didn't think Hubbard was a night owl. He is though. Yeah. So she's definitely staying up all night cooking things, which is magnificent pretty pleased about that. Unfortunately, all of the pemmican that she just cooked has been devoured already. Which is absurd. Come on, guys. Pitch in to, uh... collecting the foods, or go home. Hang on. Uh... Don't... Don't use vegetables for these meals right now. Because we've got renewable availability of meats. Oh, finally, this uh, brewer's brewery has been made. make ward forever. We won't have uh, hops up for a while, I don't think. That's just something we're gonna have to wait on. Uh, I can move all this medicine into the infirmary too, especially the regular medicine. Uh, I may leave a couple of stacks of these herbal meds here, uh, but this will give me room for at least two more crafting tables. And I can have another one here facing this direction. A chair here. But we have room for everything that we need. A uh, component. What is the size of the component assembly bench? Yeah, it's it's way too big to fit in here. I might put it in here or something. Even though I know uh, bugs spawn in here, and they will probably destroy it. It may not be worth it to drop it in there then. Um, I'll just have to figure out some other place for it. Few items to trade from these visitors, that's fine. What are we looking like on Pemmigan 315? Man, that doesn't it doesn't seem like a lot. I don't think that's enough for a five day trip, personally. All right. Taicho, I know that you've been sleeping for a while, but come see what they've got to trade. It's probably nothing significant. But it's never a bad idea to check. They have some packaged survival meals for an extortionist sum. 75 bucks. Let's see. Oh, will they buy dead man clothes? Yes. Let's get these out of the way. And if I remember right, Taicho is wearing some dead man armor. Yeah, it's 11% anyways. It's not a dead man's clothes, but it's close enough. Nobody's going to wear it. 
only up to 13 bucks. And these guys are making a killing. I wish there was a way... Like, I wish there was a, um... Washing machine or something you could use to take away the dead man's clothes. Um... Whatever it's called. Status, maybe? Nine meals are here, so they should start eating meals instead of pemmican. And we are working our way up. I just can't remember how much people need. We don't have that much left to make either. Nope, Hubbard, eat an uh, actual meal, please. Hold this back in. There we go. Are they taking five at a time? Yes. So it's five meat, five veg. Yeah, once the agave fruit has run out, we have to send the caravan immediately. We might have to send it now, actually, because if we only have two days to get there... Yeah, we've only got those three days here. Oh man, that's rough. How many more batches can we make? Three, fives, eight more runs. Hilarion, bring these agave fruits inside, please. So that Chun doesn't have to run so far. Get all the stuff. I need to research auto doors so that we can upgrade these specifically. I imagine it's getting warm in here too because of them running back and forth all the time. But it's worth it. We need the stuff made. Gun, are you just hanging out? Yes. Blackjack has taken over the pemmican production. That's good. Oh, making meals instead. That's a little unfortunate. Okay, yeah, because Coley grabbed the last... Uh, Agave fruit so that he could do um, animal handling. Okay. So we need fighters. I'm pretty sure everybody has their guns back. It's actually probably something I ought to check on before I go. Alright, Coley doesn't have a gun. We brought them all inside. Got a shoddy assault rifle. Still 61%. They're not a good... I mean, we could take the... Machine gun. Machine gun? Mini gun. That's not the worst idea. Okay. So everybody who is a hunter has weapons. They're gonna be gone for like five days. Whoever we kill here should have meals too. So that's something to keep in mind. Koth isn't that great of a a shooter anymore, but I don't have a lot of choice. Coley, Jefferson, Hubbard can all go. We leave Ilarion and Blackjack here. Maybe. Four days worth of food, we'll barely get there and back. But like I say, anybody who is there. should have some food. Uh, as long as it's the east side, it doesn't matter. Uh, southeast might have been better. Because this is a mountain, so they're going to move a little bit slower there. But it will. We'll see how it goes. Actually, I should probably take Blackjack with me, but the more people I take with me, the less food we're going to have available. Why didn't they collect all the food? Oh, 32. We probably made some pemmican somehow. There's some berries here. I don't know where they came from, but yeah, there we go. Okay. We're 
we're probably barely going to make it. 2.6 days and he's got 3 days left to be there. So yeah, we're definitely barely going to make it. Blackjack and Sean should get all the cooking done here. And be able to work on some other things besides. Aha! The kill box is completely built. That's nice. Um, It's crossed my mind that I should throw a turret like back here. So that as soon as anybody enters this area, they're covered twice by turrets. Uh, so one there and like one here or back even just a little further. So that this area is just completely full of turrets. I think I will do that. Um, right now though, I would like to get a small stockpile of components if possible. Maybe we can get that going for us. Because I know that there's a bunch of other things that we need to build and we need to use components for those. Of course, we could make uh, components with that assembly bench. But like I say, I need to find a place to put it. That's not going to be instantly destroyed if we get an infestation going. Alright, Taicho is trying to build this. Blackjack was trying to build one. But it wouldn't hurt to get those done sometime. All the berries, please. Don't just use them. There we go. Hi Joe, you're on cleanup duty. Need some bodies out of here. These elephant corpses too, probably not good to have around. I'd like to see, to be totally honest. Yeah, minus 151 for having those around. These guys too, these panther bones. Oh, he's going to eat now. I don't want to interrupt him because he'll just drop his meal on the ground. Probably had to get these out of here as well because that's pretty often walked by. That Taicho with the major break? Yeah, minor break, sorry. Go do your own thing. Oh, Reese was his rival? I didn't realize that. Observing corpses, that was these guys here. We do need to get them taken out of here too. That's for sure. He will walk one and a half times faster. That's fantastic. Uh, because he's been slowed down so bad. Oh man, I've left these weapons out here for a long time. I totally forgot about them to be honest. I need to get those hauled in. Pretty soon. Meditating. I'm sorry, buddy. I need you to get those in a safe position. Alright. Now you can go do whatever you want. I don't know if Kot's Go Frenzy is going to affect the travel speed of the caravan. Oh, man. Time to destination one day. Time left one day. This is questionable. Ah, oh, why are they running through the mountains? Go slightly around. Doesn't that slow down your travel time? 3.6. I don't know. Yeah, now it's down to 2. Because they're going through this spot here. 0.8 days. I wish this would change to be more precise. But it's fine. I'm sure we will make it. You know? I got, uh, I got no doubts. I got no doubts. Okay, Blackjack is trying to grab these. Just haul those berries, please. All 
that said, I don't think we have a hunter. Yeah, Illyrion should be hunting. I'm sure everything I selected to be hunted isn't already hunted, is it? That would be pretty amazing. It appears to be the case, though. Ah, here we go. Let's get all of the elephants after us so that we can't escape and they murder us straight up. No, but seriously, let's see if we can get at least one elephant killed. And I don't mean that like an elephant killed. Bing? At a camp under armed guard, rescue him and he will join your colony. 43 year old sailor. 22 days? We got plenty of time. Alright, that's fine. Ilarion, what are you going to hunt? The elephant? Okay. Get over there. Try not to get them to revenge against you. And actually, yeah, reset this, if you will. There you go. Start a little bit closer to base there. It's really close to the herd, which makes me nervous. I think he and Blackjack could take care of a herd of elephants. But I don't really know it for sure. Of course it's hiding behind all of its friends so that he has to get ever closer to the herd in order to carry out his business here. Come on buddy, you can do it. Oh, he's gonna accidentally hit some other animals, I'm sure. You get too close here. Making me nervous. I mean, if you can't hit an elephant that's basically the size of a barn. Come on, get it killed. You can do it. Gotta be almost dead, right? No immediate danger, it says. Nice. Thirteen hours. Alright, they're getting there. They're getting there. Man, it's really taken off. Got to be almost dead. Nice. There you go. Alright, we've got no longer got the go frenzy. Oh, come on, guys. Keep moving. Less than a day. We got 0 .3 days. Come on, get there. Right now. Are they sleeping or what? I mean, Hubbard's there. She's a night owl. She ought to keep them moving. I don't want this to pass us by. Coming daytime, they're traveling again. Come on, get there. Get there. An 
An elephant is pregnant, magnificent. I've been waiting for this day for a hundred years. Okay, everything is paused, we're ready to go, and this is where I'm going to leave this episode for this time. So if you want to see us try to capture Wooter, you can catch that in the next episode by subscribing. Consider supporting my channel through the Patreon link down in the video description, and feel free to check out any of my other videos or playlists that you might be interested in. I thank you so much for all the time that you've spent on my channel, and I hope blessings of wisdom and peace on all of you. Farewell.